Hey chaps, welcome to another TRT Q&A with me, Paolo Bricado. And today's question or comment is, Hi Paolo, via this channel, I found a private clinic in my country which I thought was not possible. So thanks for this channel. I have a question. Can testicular cancer or damage result in a state of primary hypogonadism? All right. So that's a great question and thanks for the question. And first of all, congratulations on being able to find treatment. But let's get to your question today. So the question is, can testicular cancer or damage result in state of primary hypogonadism? So first of all, let's just define what hypogonadism is because when I first got this question, I wasn't even quite sure myself. So the official definition is male hypogonadism is defined as the underproduction of sperm or testosterone or both by the testes. Okay, so let's have a look at uh, if you know testicular damage or cancer can contribute towards that. So to do this, I went to some credible sources to find the information and uh, found two reports and one very good study as well. So the first uh, one comes from the United States National Library of Medicine and it's a, a article or study called Male Hypogonadism, Symptoms and Treatment. Right, and in this study, I'll put, a, um, uh, I'll put this, the excerpt from the study up on the screen over here so you can see it. So here you can see injury to the testicles is one of the causes of hypogonadism. And they say damage to normally developed testicles can cause hypogonadism. So there you have it. Injury to the testicles is and does appear to be a valid cause. Then I'll put up this excerpt over here regarding cancer as well. So then the next cause which I listed under cancer treatment says chemotherapy or radiation therapy for the treatment of cancer can interfere with testosterone and sperm production. And then later on the, the down below they said Howell et al reported that hypogonadism was seen in 30% of men with cancer. All right. So that would clearly indicate that injury and cancer can be contributing factors towards hypogonadism, right? Now, just to make sure that I wasn't getting confirmation bias, I found another source that, that, that um, confirmed this. And this was, um, let me see who that was. This was the Hormone Health Network. Obviously not anyone uh, as official as the United States National Liber Library of Medicine, but um, they seem to confirm the fact. And you can see here under the causes, if I'll put it up over here, of male hypogonadism, the first item which I've highlighted that they listed is testic testicular injury via trauma, castration, radiation, or chemotherapy. Or infection so basically in that first point that I've highlighted they they indicate that also again once again testicular injury or cancer you know via chemotherapy can contribute towards hypogonadism all right so there we have it confirmed now I know you did ask about primary hypogonadism in your original question right and we've just been discussing normal hypogonadism so I just wanted to highlight here that and I'll put this up on the screen as well that in that same first article that I listed, uh, they say here under primary hypogonadism that the common causes of primary hypogonadism include, and then they've listed only one real reason, and that's Klinefelter's syndrome. Okay, so if you're specifically asking about primary hypogonadism, then it just seems like the main cause for that is Klinefelter syndrome, but in the other sort of contributing factors towards general hypogonadism, then yes, injury, uh, to the testicles and cancer can be contributing factors. So I thought it's best to uh, hand this one over to the official experts that study this stuff. And that's why I've, I've cited the studies today to help with the question. And I really appreciate the question. It was a good question. And uh, I like it when I get questions where I have to do homework like this. So thanks for the question. And if you guys do have TRT questions that you'd like answered in a Q&A like this, then just leave your question in the comment section below. And make sure you click the subscribe button uh, to get updates in future. And please also click the like button if you did like this video so that more people with questions questions like this can see these questions and the answers and we can help more people. So thanks for watching and I will catch you next time.